Gmail.com. Hey everyone, Jared here with CrackBerry.com. We're going to take a quick look at multitasking on iOS 5 here on the left versus Playbook 2.0 here on the right, which was recently announced. Wanted to kind of show off the differences of how the different platforms handle multitasking and kind of why the Playbook excels in multitasking in its true form. As you know, the Playbook has always done a pretty decent job at multitasking. So let's take a quick look at the uh, initial differences. So to access another application on the Playbook, as you know, all you have to do is simply either swipe up to see all of your running applications here, or if you want to get to the next screen over, all you have to do is drag from the side. And it's going to take you right into it, and then you tap. There you have it. iOS 5, not so much. There are a couple new uh, gestures that are built into iOS 5. None of them make it as simple as the playbook where you can do it with one finger. <clears throat> the first one here on iOS 5 requires a full hand. So take all five fingers and you pinch to the middle. And that's going to bring you right back to your home screen here. So if we hop back into that app, pinch back to your home screen but again you can't see like you can here what else is running if you want to see what else is running gotta either double tap your home button then you have little icons here along the bottom which will show you exactly what you're running or they have also built in a four finger gesture which is a little bit uncomfortable to use four fingers swipe up it's going to also reveal your tray that shows your running applications. So let's hop into YouTube. So as I demonstrated before, one finger takes you from application to application. Try that here, not so much. Again, four fingers and it does bring you to the next application. So four finger swipes will take you across but again, if you're sitting there, you're looking at your iPad, you gotta take four fingers and swipe. And then, say you wanna go the other way, you can't use the same hand. You gotta come in with your other hand and you gotta get four fingers down and pull it across. So when you're sitting there, it's not optimal for use with one hand or anything like that. You really gotta get both hands going. Another great area in which the playbook excels, and it always has, say we want to watch this YouTube video here. We're going to press play. It's playing on the screen here. Let's bring it full screen. Now let's do the same here. It's going to play. So now let's say we want to multitask. We think we see the flashing red light. We're trying to see what it is swipe up the video is still playing and we can quickly tap and see that we have messages say we're not too interested in it boom hop right back in and resume here say we close it gotta go back into it and press play say we want to multitask it pauses it instead of allowing you to continue to play. You have to go back into the application here on the iPad in order for it to continue playing. Where here, we can have it continue playing without the need. Hop up, again, pauses. Here we have the video playing in the small window. Flip through. We can hop here, we can check our email, we can go back, tap on it, and it begins playing again. Click here, it resumes. Say we want to hop into another app, when you come back, you gotta press play again. 
the multitasking experience is definitely better on the playbook. It is a truer style multitasking. You can open one application with a flick of one hand, one finger. You can get from application to application. You want to minimize anything, flick it up. Each one does give you the name along the bottom. You got something open that you want to close. All you got to do is find it on the screen and tap the little X and it's gone. In order to close something on the, <coughs> the iPad, you have to either double tap your home button or four finger swipe upward. Then you long press, they start to jiggle and then you can kill off applications one by one. So as that goes, it's going to take a lot longer than being able to just scroll, X, done, launch the next, one finger, flip through until you're where you need to be. So this is just a quick comparison of multitasking on the iPad in comparison to the BlackBerry. As we know, BlackBerry has always been about speed, ease of use, and I think they've implemented that very well here in Playbook OS 2.